Last week, we had the WWE 2024 draft, and there wasn't many superstars switching sides, but one man switching sides is Big John. Big John Laurinaitis, and he is going from Team Janelle Grant to Team Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling. And John Laurinaitis has changed his mind. He's issued a new statement regarding the sex trafficking lawsuit, and he's no longer claiming to be a victim of Vince McMahon. He's actually agreeing with Vince McMahon's legal team. He's agreeing with Vince McMahon's statements, and he's essentially decided to switch sides. He's decided that he thinks McMahon is the better team to be on, never mind the blue brand or the red brand. He's on the McMahon brand, and for me... This is cowardice for John Laurinaitis. This is shite bag material. This is straight up lies for John Laurinaitis. He doesn't care about the truth. He doesn't care about any of that. Initially, he said it with Janelle Grant, I think, because he thought McMahon was fucked. He thought McMahon was in big trouble. However, the more holes we see in Janelle Grant's claims, the closer we get to this being sorted and the more it looks like McMahon is actually going to come out on top. John Laurinaitis has now changed his story, just like Cody Rhodes never changed his story. He had the story from day one to WrestleMania 40. Well, Laurinaitis, he wants a new story, new book, new chapter, new direction. People Paul swore allegiance to Finney Mac recently, and I, I don't, we predicted it. We said that he would pick he would pick the winner that he thought would win. And, and initially it was and Janelle it, Grant. Yeah, he thought it was Janelle Grant, and you know what? This is why the, the courts and the legal system's fucking corrupt, man. You get you get this all the time. How can people not see? How is this right? He yeah. basically lied and said, yeah, Janelle, Gr uh, Janelle Grant's telling the truth. And then he's jumped ship because he thinks McMahon's going to win. You shouldn't be able to get away with it. And McMahon's name's been tainted. John Laurinaitis should be getting flung under the bus completely now for this. Well, he, but see, because see because he's now jumped ship to McMahon, people are just, they're just so, like, their sole purpose at life is focusing on McMahon, even though I think John Laurinaitis, out of the three of them, looks the worst. I mean, yeah, Janelle Grant may have lied, but John Laurinaitis had a chance to back up his buddy, his longtime employer. Well, forget about that. He had the chance to tell the truth. Aye, the truth. Aye, but back up. He threw his tag team partner under the bus, Vince McMahon, a guy he's known for years, decades, a good loyal friend, and that's why he treats him. Then he make the hot tag. That's no, for sure. it's disgusting. No, it actually, is like forget about the acts they committed, right, and all the shite that was involved. I mean, the, the biggest shite involved here is John Laurinaitis. I used to like the guy. People power coming out in the scooter. I'm glad Teddy Long battered him. So, Laurinaitis' attorney, Edward Brennan, issued the following statement. He says, quote, John Laurinaitis has filed a motion today fully joining in and adopting Vince McMahon's motion to compel abreteration. Mr. Laurinaitis collaborates with Mr. McMahon in publicly declaring that Mrs. Grant's allegations of sexual abuse and coercion in her complaint are completely unfounded. My client will fight these false allegations together with Mr. McMahon in the proper forum abreteration. Now, end of quote, end of quote. Now, he's coming out and saying that he goes against Janelle Grant's allegations, saying that they are false and that he is going to fight them with Mr. McMahon. But initially, he actually came out and claimed to be a victim, just like Janelle Grant. He claimed to be a victim like Finney Mac. So I don't understand how John Laurinaitis can have this sort of a, a change of stance and this not poke legal holes in his defence because... You're not, I mean, this is a, it's a straight up lie. He, he's just went from one extreme to the other. I, I don't see how John Laurinaitis can come out of this with any sort of credibility or come out of this as a winner when he's, when he's obviously willing to just tell whatever version of the story he thinks is going to be believed or whatever story he thinks is going to come out on top. He's almost treated it like wrestling. See the way he can just, like, heels and faces can change at any point. That's almost like he's treated it. It's like the winner takes all Survivor Series. He's like Kurt Angle. He's thought, you know, uh, you know what, here? The Alliance ain't going to win. So uh, I'm going to jump back well, to WWE. Well, to be fair, McMahon did plant Angle in the Alliance, so... <laughs> Maybe McMahon planted Laurinaitis in the Janelle Grant defence. I mean, or po the attorneys or whatever. Possibly, but, I mean, we will see more about this. Uh, last week, McMahon's uh, team issued a statement uh, basically saying how 
Janelle Grant's uh, false allegations are slowly unraveling and just saying how McMahon will expose all the lies from the uh, complaint. So, yeah, we will see what happens. It looks like McMahon is, I wouldn't say get away with it's the right term because I'm not sure what he's getting away. At the end of the day, what this was is essentially a relationship that McMahon was paying for and Janelle Grant was happy to provide and it broke down because the money stopped. That is essentially it. And I mean, I know people want to say McMahon is like some sort of human trafficker. I mean, it's, first of all, it's one person. It's not like he's trafficking people in from other countries. I, I, it was pretty much like McMahon. It was like a sugar daddy relationship. Yeah. And it's been turned into something a lot worse. And McMahon's pretty much lost everything. McMahon because McMahon is owed a million apologies for everyone that's thrown him under the bus. It's even like with CM Punk's on that MMAR thing. He's like, ah, oh, Vince McMahon, you know, something, you kind of knew something like this was going on. It's like Triple H and Cody Rhodes at the press conference. I believe it was after the Rumble. Was it after? I think it was after the Rumble. It's like the completely, especially Triple H, is father-in-law. The guy that built this company pretty much up to what it is today. And he, he threw him under the bus. Now, man. look, is it shady? Is it shady shit? Absolutely. Pun intended. I Literally. mean, this, this is a 76-year-old... And he's sleeping with, I mean, I think Janelle Grant is now 43 at the time. She'd have probably been below 40, maybe like 38, 39. Like, I'm not, even the age thing, I'm, I'm sure McMahon would sleep with younger than Janelle Grant. There's so, worse age gaps. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm not, yeah, you look at Hugh Hefner and all that stuff. And then, it's funny, when Hugh Hefner was alive, everyone had a lot of praise for him. All these women that he paid and made successful, made rich, they were they were all like positive for him, but as soon as he died, they came out and basically made out as if Hugh Hefner was like this guy that was forcing them and manipulated them, and it's crazy how people will change as soon as the money stops, but yeah, nah, for me, what it looks like, it just looks like they had this relationship where McMahon paid for it, and Janelle was happy to go along with it. And, I mean, that's it. I, I, I'm sure that you get some... I was going to say normal people. Let me take that back. I'm sure that you get some random people in life who aren't rich like McMahon that are into weird shit like shitting on people. But because they're not a billionaire who was the head of a, you know, public company like WWE, they're, they're not going to be, like, brought out. They're, they're not going to be ex exposed to the media. They're not going to be in the headlines. But you probably do get people out there that enjoy shitting on others. No, of course you are. Of course you're going to get it, but here... And, and you know what? See, see if McMahon wasn't this rich guy, people would probably be saying, oh, you're kink-shaming. Yeah, they probably would, but you know what? I, I hope McMahon disowns Laurinaitis after this. I think he probably will. I mean, I don't see how he can continue being his friend when Laurinaitis... I mean, it's one thing Triple H, like, distancing himself from it, but Laurinaitis was openly trying to get McMahon shafted here because he thought Janelle Grant was the best case to win. I mean, it was, it's one thing, I mean, if Laura, if it actually happened, you know, and Laura Nitus was a victim, right, that's fair enough, but he, he, he lied to try and get over it, because he thought it was the best way. That's disgusting, man. Like, he shows you all that stuff McMahon did for him. But, let's, let, let's be fair here, when John Laura Nitus came out as a victim, no, no, nobody gave him the same benefit that they gave Janelle Grant. No, they didn't. Everyone was bashing John Laura Nitus. I think you got to look at it fairly. If Janelle Grant's claiming to be a victim and everyone is pretty much automatically believing her, if you're going to believe her just because she's claimed to be a victim, then you should have been believing John Laurinaitis, but of course that wasn't the case. People were saying that John Laurinaitis was just trying to save his own skin. Could you imagine, though, if Janelle Grant, for some reason, decided to side McMahon and Laurinaitis were still claiming the victim? Yeah, that would be strange, but uh, anyway, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, I imagine that this case is... I think it's going to die out. I, I don't think anything's going to come of this. No. Well, what will come of it is the end of McMahon in well, WWE. Well, yeah, unfortunately that's already happened, but... <sighs> McMahon can't win, right? His reputation's been fucked. He's lost his company. Uh, even if he does win, like, how much money can he sue Janelle Grant for? And how much... Not enough. Like, not enough to change his life. No way you know McMahon's done for, right? They're not even going to bring Brock back and he just received a text message. So what I know McMahon's McMahon, but what chance... Well, I think they will bring Brock back because they've actually mm. mentioned him a few times. They've mentioned him, but I don't... I think he's done. I mean, I think it, I think Brock might come back when this all ends, but I just don't see McMahon ever coming back. Even when he dies, man, I think we're getting to a point where they might not even acknowledge him. Yeah, anyway, that's it, guys. It, it, it's, I think it's crazy how much this has been blown out of control, yep. blown out of proportion. I mean, it, it was literally a, 
like a sugar daddy, sugar baby type relationship. And all of a sudden, it's like she's trying to change what happened because the money stopped. And it's like, you, you can't do that. In a normal world, you can't do that. But I guess we live in 2024. It's not really normal. Anyway, John Laurinaitis, he's switching to McMahon's side. <sighs> You know, maybe John Laurinaitis. You know what? John Laurinaitis is maybe thinking, hold on here, if, if I do side with Janelle Grant, McMahon could potentially sue me for everything I've got. Yeah, that's probably what he might have thought, yeah. So, I, yeah, John Laurinaitis, man, I've lost all respect. Maybe he, thinks if he, maybe he thinks if he sides with McMahon and McMahon does lose, then McMahon will no, fork but the bill. I we, mean, we said it, we knew he was bullshitting at the time, though. We said he just did this. Even though, like, yeah, we thought Janelle Grant was bullshitting as well, but with John, it's, come on, I expected better for the guy. Right, anyway, guys, there you go. Let, let's know your thoughts down below, and if there's any more uh, news on this, we will. We'll give you an update here on Fog Wrestling. Until next time, peace.